Right, we got six minutes to learn about physics. Looking forward to uh, watching this video. Uh, let's get straight into this one. Hello, mortals. Have you ever heard of the most complex subject in the known universe? One which is still far from being understood. One which is the literal cause of everything. Uh, hit me with one it. One which made high school students hate school. And most importantly, one that made Rick and Morty possible. What? By the name of the video, you probably know what I'm talking about. Physics. Gender studies. Okay. Seriously now, I mean, penguinologism. Now yeah. for real, today we're going to speak about chicken nugget science. Fine, I'll just stop. The first branch of physics is the most boring one and the only one that you can observe oh, by I yourself. Oh, I hate physics in it school, but like now I'm really interested in it. And that if you punch somebody they will punch you back with the same force. No matter how ugly you are, you still attract the entire universe towards you. Technically speaking, if you punch someone and they're gonna punch you back with the same force, no they're not, they're probably gonna punch you a little bit harder depending on who it is. Yourself with a force inversely proportional to the distance. Next we have electromagnetism. Thanks to it, your phone works. Also, thanks to it the universe can exist. It describes how electric and magnetic fields, which are in fact the same thing, work. Briefly it can be summarized as electrons and photons doing weird stuff. <laughs> then we have thermodynamics, which tries to explain why you shouldn't jump in lava. It also says that entropy tends to get higher, which will result in an inevitable death of the entire universe. Oh, the heat death. We also have fluid dynamics. Oh, we learn about an the excruciating uh, heat hard way of determining how aerodynamic a cow can be. Chaos theory tries to describe how your life would have been if you hadn't said that really stupid thing to your crush back then. We also have optics. Oh, that's so weird, man. Like how different your life can be at any point in your life, do you know what I mean? So like what if I never decided to react to videos or like what if i you know never played fortnite and became a streamer like what would i be doing right now holy shit it's fucking crazy to think about it really is and like you you, you like your life could have changed at any point drastically at every decision you make mad that is crazy. It's actually fucking mental. Pretty much studies how light behaves when it passes through glass. The next what big pillar of physics is relativity relatively speaking. There is this dude, one stone, who comes and says that light speed is constant. And then people asked, well what if I run faster than that? And one stone said, you can't because you're fat. <laughs> I'm not fat you reeky ill breeding maggot. Your mass is not zero so you are. Bitch. Also, Newton, your physics is shit. Gravity is not a force, it is the curvature of space-time itself. What the Next fuck? we have quantum mechanics. A weird field with zombie cats, infinite versions of you, and the core of Rick and Morty. I actually have a, uh, a book on quantum, uh, quantum mechanics and that. Uh, I need to read it, but I can't bring myself to reading it yet because uh, I need a lot of time to sit down and go over it. Uh, but it interests me so fucking much. The standard model says that there are at least 13 types of particles. First we have fermions, six types of quarks and six types of leptons. Then we have four types of gauge bosons and one scalar boson. Gluons obviously make glue. Photons make photon cannons. Electrons make electricity. The muon is basically electrons overweight unstable sister. The tau is basically the electrons. Oh my, are we are we actually learning all of this right now? Super ultra overweight sister. For like a it minute. It is also School really class. suicidal and doesn't like to live for a long time. Right. These wow. guys like to pass through everything without interfering with anything. These guys are just boring. These guys make up six flavors of chippa chups. They also make up protons and the neutrons. Fuck? The Higgs boson just makes you fat. Then there is the superstring theory, which replaces all the elementary particles with really small vibrating strings. Different particles, different vibrations. It also argues that there are 11 spatial dimensions instead of three. It Mad. looks something like this. 
good luck imagining that. Next I highly suggest to first watch this video on quantum mechanics, otherwise you won't understand much. Too lazy to watch it? Good luck. <laughs> First we have the Heisenberg's uh, uncertainty principle. I was legit about to say, I'm ready to watch that and it, okay. ...states that he is the one who knocks. Oh, no, never mind. It states that you cannot physically know both the position and the momentum of a quantum particle at the same time. Then we have the Schrodinger's cat, which is both alive and dead at the same time until observed. The fuck? This works for all particles. Which bro, exist. bro, what? Honestly, the first half of the video, right? You could follow it. What is going on right now? Why? I, I, I don't, I don't know if we're joking. If we're not joking, is this fact? Like, what's In going all on? Possible states, as long as it doesn't interact with anything. You're telling me about a dead alive cat that we can eat or not eat? Anything else? Yeah. The fuck? Oh, also, when observed. The cat splits the universe in two, one with each version of the outcome. So a single atom can split the universe in countless ways, therefore creating a metric graph ton of parallel universes, according to the many worlds interpretation. Now seriously. Go watch this video to understand what I just said. Honestly, honestly, sounds interesting, but I feel like you're gonna play with me in that video. So I'm not I too think sure. I forgot to mention anti-matter, dark matter, black holes matter, quantum gravity, the Big Bang, the infinite quantum universe is that so is somehow still expanding, the Pythagorean theorem. It's because I only have five minutes, not several human lifetimes that are required to understand how the universe works. But this is totally enough to understand most of the physics memes. <laughs> Which is nice. Okay. Pretty, pretty good video. I can't lie. The last part of it, yeah, I, I feel like he was just playing with us a little bit. But really good video. I enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed too. If you did, make sure you do leave a thumbs up. We're gaining super close to YouTube partner. If you guys can subscribe to the channel, it'll really help out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.